hello, 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 friends and neighbors. Welcome back. It's me, a kick to the head. We are back. Euro Truck Simulator 2, continuing our EverQuest forward to Magdeburg, Germany. Uh, I'm hoping we get that finished up today, but it's still quite a ways to go. We may not be able to get this finished on this episode either. If you remember, we left Swansea heading toward Magdeburg on last episode. And yes, that's correct. I was pronouncing it incorrectly last time. I was saying Swansea, but it's Swansea. Um, thank you to Taff for reminding me that's what it was. And the thing was, I knew that's how it was pronounced, but for some reason I was doing the American derp. Anyway, without further ado, let's continue on. Now, I lied to you. I didn't get any practice in on the controller. Or I didn't go and search for my steering wheel. So we are still back on keyboard. Now, I apologize for that, but... Life took over and I wasn't able to make good on my promise. So we are back with the keyboard and mouse. So we'll have to see how it goes. Now this should be a one-way street here, so it shouldn't matter which side I am on. And it's not until we get out of here that we'll need to worry about which side of the road we will be on. Okay, we head out here to the left. And let's just take a look. Quickly take a look. All clear. Let's head on out. And it's 50 through here. So welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are back. I am still enjoying... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get over, get over, get over. There you go. And we want to go left here. So I'm still enjoying this. Hope you guys are as well. And let's see. So what news do we have? Still no new news on the American Truck Simulator. That is still slated to come out, I believe, January of 2015. Let me just concentrate here. Go, go, go out a little bit. There we go. Cut back in. Should be good, 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 and done. Done and dusted. Like I said, should be January 2015 for that. Um, other news, uh, Farming Simulator 2015, or Farming Simulator 15, rather, as it's called, is due to be out in just around a week's time, or just over a week's time, almost two weeks' time, I'm guessing. Um, I believe 10, 10 or 11 days, 10 or 11 days it should be that it's unlocked, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, other news in the channel is you notice that uh, my farming or correction my minecraft simucraft or simulation as i originally called it but simucraft where the minecraft meets the sims and sim city is really doing well you guys seem to really like that mod pack as as do i i really enjoy that more than anything um and now i've also added the shader pack into it so it is gorgeous with the shaders and everything and the sun and the flowing trees and the grass and everything it's just gorgeous the my one episode i did record however it was crashing every couple minutes and let's just slow down we got a little speed boost here um it was crashing every couple minutes now excuse me i don't know if that was due to the conflict with the save game with the mod or whatever i don't believe it was the mod because i started another private game on simucraft with this with the shader pack and i've played for hours and hours and hours and i'm on like the third or fourth day of playing with no issues whatsoever so what i'll do is i will try again in the next episode that i record if it continues to crash then unfortunately it seems like there's a problem with the saved game versus the shader pack and then we'll make we'll have to make a decision whether we want to remove the shader pack or whether we want to start a new sim simucraft episode or season rather from the very beginning again with the shader pack so that's something we'll have to determine as the time gets closer and looks clear clear let's just take our turn Stay over where you are. You'll be good to go. There you go. We still got 12 hours and 28 minutes, but we are short on sleep, as you can tell. So we're going to have to find a place to sleep soon. And we're 
probably not going to be able to make it this episode either, which is a shame. But this may be a three-part episode then. So anyway, yeah, the, the Minecraft is really picking up. I'm really enjoying that one as well. So the way it stands currently is Mondays and Wednesdays are our Farming Simulator series. Now Monday will be the Old Family Farm. And Wednesday I'm starting a new mini-series. You'll probably see it this coming Wednesday. Which will be, well, matter of fact, the day before this video is released. Which is a beautiful French map called uh, La Femme Limousine. Or Limousina or something like that. However it's pronounced in French. It is an all French map, all in French language. But beautiful, beautiful mod, or correction, beautiful map. Um, it's this little hilly, mountainous countryside of France. Um, it's got the uh, Darker Night mod installed. It's got the Forest mod. It's got the Soil Management mod. It's got the Calc mod. Um, several other mobs, all com or mobs, mods combined into it, making for a beautiful, beautiful map. So you'll see that on Wednesday, the day before this video is released. So I'll start doing that on Wednesdays. Now, this is all, of course, until Farming Sim 15 comes out. Then one of those days will become a Farming Sim 15 day, depending on which one is is the, the more enjoyable. We'll delete the other one, or not delete it, but at least postpone it for a little while. Now, we are, we could have stopped there for gas and a place to sleep. We are getting close to finishing the old family farm. I think uh, once the last two days goes by that we can then go to the barley great demand. I think we will be pretty much complete. I think that will pretty much pull us out of debt. As, or not out of debt, but pay off our loan and get us close to where we are wanting to be with the money wise. Now, if we don't quite make the million dollars... I think we'll probably end the season anyway as long as we get the loan completely paid off and have positive numbers in the bank. I think once Farming Sim 15 kicks off, I think we will stop the doing the old family farm and replace that with Farming Sim 15. And I might continue with the French map. If for some reason you want me to continue with the Farming Sim 2013 old family farm, then, of course, I will replace that on Wednesdays then. Tuesdays and Fridays, we still have Seven Days to Die. That will be single player. Thursdays, of course, is Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is what you're watching now. And that is also used as a platform for channel updates, news, notifications, and stuff as of that nature. Just to pass the long driving ahead of us. Saturdays, of course, is my Minecraft series, and that will be a rotation through SimuCraft and uh, the Mod Sauce, and occasionally spliced in with uh, Vanilla Overhaul. And then, of course, Sundays is the new episode that I've started with Hitman82 over on Hitman82 Gaming. Check out his channel. You can find that under my channels to check out on my main page. You'll find a link to his page there. And we do a co-op seven days to die on there. So that is the full week schedule of how this kicks off. And anything that might change will be reflected here on Euro Truck Simulator 2. As well as any small channel update videos that I may do. So that's the way it stands now. Now, as you can tell, we are approaching 100 and... Well, by the time this video is released... I'll probably be over but right now I'm currently at 149 subscribers so I'm almost at 150 subscribers I want to thank each and every one of you for helping me get to where I am right now I know we're still small and uh, the size of it doesn't really matter to me as long as I'm making videos that you enjoy and we continue the interaction that we have there's quite a few of you out there that do interact with me on a daily basis and I appreciate your support, and I, I just want to thank you that, or just to let you know that you are appreciated. So thank you again for that. And yeah, that's where we are. Okay, we need to find a place to pull over, check our map, and get some sleep. We are getting close. Let's just flip over to our Navi real fast and see 
Yeah, we got uh, we got to find somewhere to sleep in three hours, and we've got ten hours and forty minutes to go. So, like I said, we will be needing to find a place to rest here shortly. And if I looked at that again to see we had 21 hours to be there. Yeah, we've got almost 22 hours left. And 8 hours of that will be sleeping. Yeah, so we'll be okay on time. We should be able to make it okay. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm, my voice is funny. It does feel like I'm starting to come down with a cold again. So I can feel feel a little difficulty breathing and stuff and trying to get my, my words and my breath out. So I apologize for that. And we are doing well. Look at the little barley field over there, or a wheat field with some hay bales going. A little farmyard over here, it looks like. Maybe some cattle in there. Got a little construction over here. Maybe putting some water pipe in or something for the farm. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And should hopefully it'll be some place coming up to sleep shortly. Let me just take a drink of my beverage here. There we go. How are we doing on time? Almost 13 minutes in already. Time sure does fly when we're having fun. And a train's coming. We're going to get stopped at, aren't we? Can we make it? Yep, we're going for it. Oh, we made that. Barely. It looks like the guards just came down now. And traffic holding us up. We've got some curvy roads here. Got the windmills in front of us over there. Bringing in your clean energy, as they say. Make sure we're on our side of the road. But yeah, you can see them over there. Along with uh, the wraps field out there in the background. Beautiful, beautiful wraps field. Plowed field. Freshly plowed fields out there as well. Let's watch what we're doing. You could have gone. You could have passed them or something. And we got, looks like a field that's been lined with uh, grass and stuff. Look like they're going to be making some hay bales out of that. Oh, you could have passed them. Oh, we should have passed the car. Bad, bad move to do this on a curve, but let's do it. At least get in front of the car. He's slowing us up. There we go. That's better. Now he won't slow us up as much. We'll be able to run with the traffic at least. He was going behind the traffic. So, anyway, we're continuing our drive. We got nine and a half hours. And we probably got maybe an hour left before we got to sleep. Let's just quickly check that two hours left and we got to yield here this doesn't make any sense why we have to yield and the cars coming off have the right away this is going to eat up our time no okay we're good and we want to go straight again now hopefully nothing is coming off and there is and go 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 there we go now, now we need to find a place. That's the problem out here on these little stretches of highway. The chances of us finding something are very slim sometimes. We just need to find a little gas station out of the way and we can pull in and grab a quick eight hours rest and then hit the road again and continue our march to the east. This is a much further drive than I had anticipated. I'm really hoping that uh, they don't release the next big update, 1.14 or 114, and then reset us back to Frankfurt. 
all this work would be for nothing then. So we need to try to get as close as we can this episode, and we're about to get hit with rain. Woo Got a little faster on that corner, so let's get our wipers on because we're about to get hit with rain. And let's make sure our lights are on. Yeah, it's getting nasty. And there's a hot air balloon up in there. Boy, he's a brave soul. See him up there? A little purple thing. And it's windy as well. Check out that windsock. Must be an airport close by. There's the rain as anticipated. Red Bull trailer just passed us. And we need to find a rest area for sure. Sunflowers over there. Hopefully they'll be getting harvested soon. The rain ought to be doing them well. Or doing them good as they say. Well is when you are health wise and good is when the status of something. Okay, this looks a little sharp. There we go. Yes, I know. I know you're tired. Looking for a place for you. You can see we are 54000 in the positive. We have no loans, so that's a good thing. All our loans have paid off, so everything is strictly profit. And we do have a gas station coming up up ahead. Hopefully it's on the correct side. Our side, if not, we'll have to cross the lane of traffic. It is on our side. It says 200 meters. Whereabouts is it? It looks like we're at the border as well. Like, yeah, it should be. Okay, we want right in here. Fuel we're good on. So let's just drive on through. Here we go. And we want to... We'll just take up all the spots. So let's put our brake on, engine off, and let's take a quick rest. Okay, and driver Melanie couldn't find a job and had to return empty. Fuel and maintenance costs are 311 euros. Is that what it is? Or 811? Couldn't quite see. 811 most likely. Almost 4K for William. Good job, William. Go ahead and turn this on. And Melanie also got 766 that time. Not very much, but let's go ahead and pull out. We're clear. Now, if we look at the thing again we've got 10 hours to get there and we have over eight and a half hours there so it will be close on time but we can make up time on the road as we go for sure and I should have looked at the map there that's what I should have done see where we were what we can do then you know what there's nothing behind us let's just stop right here for a quick second and we are just outside Duisburg so you get Duisburg Dusseldorf this is where my my wife is from or soon to be ex Dusseldorf she was born just outside Dusseldorf in Monheim you get Kuhn here um Dortmund we're out of just left out of Belgium. There's Brussels, Belgium. We're just coming into Germany now. And there's France down that way. Or uh not France, uh Belgium again, Liege. So let's continue on. A little dark, nothing out here, so let's go ahead and turn on our brights. Doesn't appear to be any other cars around for miles, so we should be okay with our brights on. Don't need the wipers on anymore, obviously. We can shut those off as well. There's a car. We'll just dim our lights real fast. Not that it really matters in the game. They just flash their lights at you, but it doesn't harm anything that I can tell. But we'll be the courteous driver that we are in real life. Oh, excuse me. And dim our lights. Here we go. And another car coming. I need to map my brightness control, my dim and brights, to a mouse button as well. But all my mouse buttons are full. So I need to figure out something a little closer that I can hit with my left hand. Instead of taking my hand off the mouse key and flipping over and hitting the K key. Oop, this is quite sharp. Let's slow down. Problem in the dark, you can't really see what the trailer's doing. Ok, 
Okay, nothing coming from that direction. Nothing appears to be coming from that direction. So let's continue on. What is it? It's 2.30 in the morning. No wonder there's no cars out here on the road. It does look like there's a car behind us now, though. It's quite bright there behind us. Yep, there is a vehicle behind us now. He'll be wanting to pass soon. Probably right here. This is in the restrictions, as you can tell by that sign there. So he'll probably pass. Let's just light the way for him. Is he coming or not? It looks like he might. It looks like he's getting closer, so it looks like he might attempt to pass. Or not. Okay, we've got 7 hours and 45 minutes left. We have 21 minutes, almost 22 minutes recorded in game now. So we need to be finding another place to probably to be making our shift. There it goes. Be finding another place soon to just park it and pause and continue on in the third and final episode from Swansea to Magdeburg, Germany. We'll keep this around 30 minutes, so we got a little more time left. Not a lot. Car coming again. Let's dim the brights down. Looks like get several now, so we might as well just keep them off for a little while. And look at that beautiful sky. Look at all the stars. go stay on the road you can see the bike lane along the side there that's interesting it's almost like in Amsterdam in Holland don't think we're in Holland might be in the bottom side of Holland and we get some speed restrictions coming up don't see any cameras anywhere, but we don't need another speeding ticket. Seems like we get a couple of those every episode. So let's move up out of town here. Still got seven hours left. Yeah, we're not going to be able to make it this episode unless we extend this out a little bit. 40, 45 minutes maybe. Even then, I'm not sure we would finish the, the trip. Because we've gone, it was 12, 12 and something hours left when we started. We've gone maybe five hours and twenty minutes. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to. Con we wouldn't be able to finish it up. It would be close, but I don't think we'd be able to finish it up. Especially out here in all these small twisting country roads out here, we would definitely need to be on the interstate to be able to do that. So we'll just split this up into a, a third episode. This will be episode two. A lot of cars starting to come on the road. We're getting ready for that morning work traffic, I guess. They got the early shifts going. They have to take their long drive in, probably to Duisburg or Dusseldorf, to get to their morning morning office job. Probably bankers and doctors and technicians and stuff along call centers and stuff to that nature looks like we may be coming up out of here soon looks like got some interstate traffic up there to the front left somewhere I thought I thought I saw those lights seem like they're on bright That's a truck in front of us. Got his lights on bright. Oh, I didn't catch that. Something just came in. 600 some euros. Probably Melanie then for that low amount. Well, we need to be getting off up here anyway. It looks like so. We won't be passing him. Although he's bobtailing. You would think he'd be going a little faster than what he's going. Could have probably got away with the pass right there. 
I don't see no oncoming traffic. But like I said, we're going to be pulling off up here anyway. So we'll just continue behind him for a short time. Here we go. Five hours. Well, six hours left. Just shy of six hours. We might be able to make up some time on this. We're 26 minutes in. We'll see how it goes. We might be able to to make it this episode. I'm going to push for it. We'll see. We might extend this episode. Oh, you're going to hit that wall if you're not careful. We'll extend it out maybe a little and see how close we can get. If we can get up on a um, major road, then we might be able to make up enough time to be able to to complete it this episode. We'll see how it goes. Morning starting to come up, starting to get lighter. We got sunrise in front of us. We got the orange glow. Or was what the wife used to tell the kids, Santa Claus making cookies. That's the warm glow from the oven. Let's see, we're in 60, 60 K zone. We're going a little fast, but hopefully there's no speed cameras anywhere. Don't, shouldn't be anyway. Yeah, it looks like we're about to get up on the Autobahn up here. So we might be able to make up some time. Ah, oh, come on. You can make that. You can go faster than that. Let's see, Dortmund, Hanover. This is Autobahn Eins, or one rather. You're doing the speed limit for sure. It's going to put us behind. See, it's 29 minutes now. Yeah, of course you're going to go the same direction I'm going. There we go. Oh, great. We're getting right back off, though. Going from Hanover, Castle, Magdeburg. Okay. So we'll just stay in this lane. We're getting right back off. Now this definitely reminds me of an early German morning. You got the pine trees out there. The sun coming up through it. And you can just imagine a cold, crisp morning out there in spring or, or fall. Uh, it brings me back to my time in the military when I was out here a lot. Spent a lot of time out in the, the woods and what we called the field and stuff. Doing maneuvers. Beautiful, beautiful. That's what made me fall in love with Germany is scenes like that right there. So let's slow down a little bit to make this. Don't want to lose the, the tractors on the back, the Ford, Ford tractors. They won't like that too much if we were to lose our load. Doesn't appear to be anything coming down the slip here. Nope, looks good. Okay. Five hours left. We have 29 minutes in, 30 minutes in almost. Let's get over. So 30 minutes in. No, there's no way we can do in the next 10, 15 minutes, make up five hours, I don't believe. So it looks like we're going to be a little shy on this one. I might push this out to a very long episode. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll continue on. We'll try to finish it up this this episode i'd like to keep it in two parts if possible it's just this will be a very very long episode then and would would take a long time to upload into youtube especially once i render it out in the high definition that i render it out in it's probably going to be five between five and six gigs in file size which will take a while to upload at less than a megabyte a second Okay. Uh, that's that truck we passed earlier, or that we were behind earlier. Huh? He just shut his lights off. Keep ours on for right now. Hit the old cruise control. 
And let's see if we can make up a little time here. Four hours to go. Yeah, I'm going to try, try my darndest to make it this episode. 31 minutes in. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we should be able to make it. We're making good time now. We're doing 100, almost 115 kilometers an hour. So we should be okay. Let's go ahead and get over now. As long as this bus don't come out in front of us. What kind of trailer do we have up there? LGT. Oh, it's uh, furniture and logistics. It said mobile, mobile and logistics. Okay, we will be able to shut the lights off soon. We should, probably could shut them off now, but we'll keep them on a little more. Oh, Dunlop tires. And continue on straight. We'll stay in this lane then. Let's go ahead and kill the lights. We'll put just our trailer lights on. Three and a half hours. Yes, we're making good time now. Yeah, we're making good time now. We'll have we'll have this wrapped up. Hopefully in the next 10, 15 minutes then we'll have this wrapped up. Clear. Come on over. Now, when it's really light like that, it makes a makes it a little little more difficult to take these these sharper bends at speed. I know when I have a lot of weight on here, I'm able to take these a lot lot faster, a lot sharper without having to slow down. And we need to get over, slow truck ahead. Looks like we're starting to come into some traffic, so this might hurt us a little bit. What's he got on the back there? Oh, he's got a front end loader. Let's just slow down a little bit. Got a load of pipe here. I'm going to be laying pipe, so to speak. And what do we have here? Just some sea land containers. Careful, careful. Pay attention you're driving, not what other people are driving. Here we go. Probably should have stayed out in that middle lane because we do have slower traffic up here. But in Germany, it is the law that you always stay over in the furthest right-hand side. You're never supposed to continuously drive in the left two lanes. Um, the only time you're supposed to be into those lanes is to pass. Now, if for some reason something is driving out there, by law in Germany, you're only supposed to pass on the left hand side so if there's a vehicle driving in this lane and there's nothing to the left or to the right of him by law you're supposed to pass on the left not the right if you pass on the right you can get fines against your driver's license as well as our points against your driver's license and a monetary penalty as well and that's how it is in Germany the reason being is most vehicles aren't used to a vehicle coming up on the right so if for some reason they decided to get over and they pulled over into you, you would be at fault because you were illegally passing him. So you always have to pass on the left. What the heck? How did I hit that sign? Well, we got 1% damage, so we damaged the trailers. Hopefully it didn't actually damage the, the load, but they're going to take damage on it anyway. We were right in our lane. That sign must have been sticking out a little bit further than what it's supposed to be because we were in our lane. Well, I'll have to play that back and see. I'm pretty sure we were fully in our lane and it shouldn't hit. Two hours to go. We are at 35, 35 minutes in and we're being blinded by... Again, another sign. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 2% damage, 9% to the truck. You know, I was talking to... I was talking to, I believe, Farmer Beavis, I think I was talking to. And he was telling me he was having some issues with the roads and stuff up by this area as well. I believe it was this area. 
around the Magnabird area and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I was talking to him about that, and I said, well, I had never, never been up there, so I hadn't experienced that problem. But he said he was hitting invisible barriers and, and stuff sticking out too far, and I think we're falling victim to that same, same thing here. Because that's twice now we were in our lanes and we've hit signs that were either sticking out too far or we were just a little too close to the edge. But anyway, we shouldn't have hit those signs. It shouldn't have impacted us at all. And now they have. We've got quite a bit of damage to the vehicle and 2% to the truck. So we're going to lose a little bit of money and experience on that. Which is a shame. Ooh, I don't know if you heard that, but that was my tummy growling. Me's a hungry. 9.40 a.m. in the morning, haven't eaten since yesterday, and I have to go to work in a, about an hour and a half. Ten to, yeah, but i got to leave in about an hour and 20 minutes. So, I have to figure out something to eat right before I leave, because I have to work till 9 o'clock tonight and tomorrow night. And then on Wednesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 1900 or 7 p.m. And then I'm off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Oh, can't get over. Got a sprinter coming up the side there. Okay, let's go ahead and get over. We should be getting close to the time. We've got an hour left. We should be coming into Magnabird soon. And the next thing is just actually looking for where we need to deliver the load. Ooh, that's quite, 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 quite an aggressive corner there. The sun is very bright. I can't believe we got all that damage, especially to the truck now. That's going to be an expensive repair. It's almost 10% damage. Our beautiful paint job. Gonna have to get it touched up. Don't come out in front of me, please. Don't come out in front of me, please. Thank you. Okay, we need to get off up here, though. You gonna let me in? You, you idiot. You're not gonna let me in. You idiot. In the famous words of Bobby Unzigar. You idiot. Okay, here we go. 30 minutes to go. And looks like quite a bit of traffic to fight. We are at 39 minutes in. Made the corner. Fords are still back there. They're looking okay. Although there's a little bit of damage to that front front right fender of that one Ford most likely. And yep, looks like it's going to be a fairly easy place to get into. It looks like it's right on the main road, which is good. And we will finish this up fairly quickly here now. Look at the little mountainous area here. Beautiful. Probably some granite slabs in there somewhere. We want to make the left here. Erfurt, Hamburg. Okay, clear and clear. We're going. There we go. And then we want to make another left up here to Pierce. I hope that's not in the quarry. Shouldn't be. Should be a farm we should be going to, I'm hoping. And we're going to be needing sleep again. And we'll slow down. So we'll make the left here. And then we want to make a 
right up into the depot area where we need to be. So let's say Sano. There we go. And yeah, 41 minutes in. We we did well on it. I didn't think we would be able to make it this episode, but we did. Once we were able to get up on the Autobahn, we were able to make a good time. Now let's just find a place where they want this parked. Offset it and uh, take our lashing that we're about to get for the damaged goods. It's a good thing we work for ourselves or we might be fired. Okay, and let's just straighten this up a bit. Here we go. And we want to go this way, right? Okay, straighten it out. Oh, 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 oh. The other way you want to straighten it, the other way you want to straighten it up. There you go. Gonna be a little off. We'll have to straighten it up a little bit here. Let's just go. We almost did it first chance. First chance, not bad. Let's get it in place there, and now straighten it out. Will that cut it? Will that make it? No, it's not going to cut it, is it? Let's see if it will let us. No, let's just get a little straighter on it. You want to count that? Yes. Engine off and T. So, 82.1 delivered from Swansea to Magnaburg. 1,276 kilometers. Took us just shy of 27 hours. We used 521 liters of fuel. There's our base reward, almost 30,000 and 1,276 experience. We got our level bonus, which was another seven grand long distance bonus, another six and a half grand, high value cargo, almost four grand, urgent delivery bonus, another two and a half grand, and bonus for parking the trailer 45, but damage penalty 2%. So it costs us 300 euro for that and 24 experience. So we made a total of 47 grand, almost 48 grand, and just over 2,000 experience, and we gained a level. We are now level 19 professional. And so there we are. Now, we have one point remaining, and we need to figure out where we're we going to put this. So I'm going to leave it there for you guys. I want you guys to comment on where you would like to see us put this. Do we want to get the class one explosives, class two gases, or do we want to put it towards something else here? High value cargo, fragile cargo, or just in time delivery? With just in time delivery, you can see with rank three, we'll get 9% higher reward. It's a 3% increase for finishing an important delivery and a 5% increase for finishing an urgent delivery. So that would be quite a big money boost. Fragile cargo. Rank 3 will give us a 5% increase for delivering a fragile cargo. High value cargo. Rank 4 will give us a 5% increase for a high value delivery. And we can always go to eco driving if we choose. Rank 2 will get up to a 15% fuel saved when driving with trailer. And 15% of fuel saved when driving with free. So it's another 5%. Although we don't use much fuel now, I don't see this as being a viable option, but all of these are definitely a viable option. So I'll leave it there, guys. Press the like up button if you enjoyed the video. It helps out the channel. It helps others find the videos that you enjoy as well. Leave your comments and suggestions below, especially where you would like to see this skill point to go. And we'll talk to you all later. I'm a kick to the head. This has been Euro Truck Simulator 2, Swansea to Magdeburg. We'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.